Hey, it's Brian Farmer. I just want to welcome you here today. Today we're going to talk about your destiny and how to actually walk in it. Um, as you've been with me before and we've been doing these videos, I've been trying to give you some very practical applications and questions. And if you stay with it, I'm going to answer your questions on your destiny. So as we begin the, the series on your destiny, what we want to do is I just want to take a moment and give you a little bit about my past on this topic of destiny. Um, as all of us are, we kind of get born onto this planet, and whether we know the Lord or not, we're asking questions of our significance. What are we doing here? Is there meaning to life? Uh, what should I should expect from this life that I lead? Um, after I met the Lord Jesus Christ and started walking with Him, one of the main subjects that I had to start looking at is, well, if I'm going to walk out what God has called me to, or the will of the Lord, I need to discover my purpose on this planet. And what that did is that caused me to begin to ask some really hard questions about destiny. Um, I also have had an opportunity to train a lot of people on destiny, and I'm going to take what I call the first question that most people ask me. Um, how do I discover what my destiny is? Well, a lot of people believe that their destiny, if you uh, talk to them, they believe that they have to have literally a burning bush experience, or that they have to have an angel appear to them, or some kind of encounter like that with the Lord, to discover what they've been created to do. And we do see examples of that in the Bible. But in reality, um, what we find out is we find out a really interesting passage in one of the Psalms where it says, God knitted me together in my mother's womb. And so we actually find out, as it even tells us in Jeremiah chapter 1, that God created Jeremiah to be a prophet. So from the day of his birth, he was this, even though he didn't understand it. And so it means that his motivations, his perspective, his desires, and the way that he sees the world is based on his destiny. He begins to interpret everything by his destiny. And so you have this also inside of you where God has created you to have a destiny. And it's, it's really the driving force in your life. And until you discover it, you find yourself actually not satisfied uh, with your walk on this planet. And most people actually give up their own destiny and they go after some other destiny. And we have to be aware of that. Some people are after the destiny of a culture, like in our culture here in Western America, uh, the destiny that's given to us is just make a lot of money and then do nothing towards the end of your life. That's, that's not really the purpose of why God created people is to live like that. And so uh, that's one question that we answer about our destiny. Now, as we continue on with these teachings and this, this little information on destiny, um, we're going to be heading towards video number two. And um, in the email that you received, if you're getting this through an email or you found it on my social media page, I've put several links on there, uh, free information to help you learn the concept of your destiny and some questions for you to answer so that you can learn about your destiny. Now, I just want to take, uh, thank you for a moment for stopping by. And I'll see you in video number two where we go a little bit deeper into what your destiny is. So bless you and have a wonderful day.